We have in the past covered a number of the impressive Stone Age relics that can be found all over the globe. Enormous stone menhirs, henges, and dolmens, nearly all of which have been attributed to our distant Neolithic ancestors. Enormous ancient earthworks, many built with such precision that regardless of the fact that sites like Newgrange, for example, is not only covered in thousands of tons of earth, but also possesses stones used to form its long passageway entrance far into the hundreds of tons, were so accurately placed that the site's entrance, along with many similar sites, are perfectly aligned with the winter solstice, and due to the fact that much of these sites are buried under such enormous volumes of earth, the true size, and indeed undertaking these once were, is still largely unknown and academically underestimated. It seems that for some as yet unknown reason, this supposedly primitive age within the development of the modern man were not only obsessed with solar, planetary, and satellite precisions, but were able to create such monuments with such huge erosion-resistant stone megaliths, so precisely plotted within the local geography, that they display an extraordinarily detailed level of astronomical knowledge. Many said alignments perfectly depicting orbits so complex that we, the modern man, have only very recently learnt ourselves, which has in turn allowed us to understand the coded messages and chart the near-perfect precision behind the motivation of many of the most impressive Neolithic sites. Furthermore, not only do many of their sites across Europe display a tremendously in-depth knowledge of the cosmos, in particular our own solar system, but additionally, dolmens, undoubtedly the second most recognizable and abundant of Neolithic remnants still dotting the planet, left by people of this enigmatic age, displays the same as yet unexplained ability to quarry, lift, and precisely place stones many tons in weight atop one another, seemingly with ease. These stones display a feat that to this day regardless of the countless individuals and intellects which have mulled over their existence, have yet to have their placements logically explained by anyone. As such, they remain one of the defining features among countless ruins across the globe that due to their incorporation into said sites, allows one to identify their presence as the product of lost knowledge and thus lost civilization. Ergo, we feel they are surviving fragments of evidence, left by a far more capable, far more advanced and thus far older civilization. One now lost to history, or possibly the work of a remnant of a civilization once capable of much more. Due to the primitive nature of many of the Neolithic sites and the stone finishes, they may have been moved and lifted with this lost knowledge yet they all lack the signature tool marks or finishes of more detailed ruins such as Baalbek or Giza. This observation suggests to us that the Neolithic people, although possibly accurately placed chronologically within antiquity, were in reality a surviving remnant of a far older civilization, one which was capable of lifting, building, and most importantly refining such stones a crucial detail Neolithic ruins lack. It seems these technologies, rather than the lifting techniques utilized by the ancients, became lost and were not within the arsenal of, in our opinion, their possible surviving predecessors, the Neoliths, who, regardless of such, still possessed exquisite astronomical knowledge. Many of these sites are rarely explained, they are often simply attributed to a group without any further explanation. And the Evora megaliths are no exception. Claimed to have been the work of humble farmers some 6,000 years ago, these enormous multi-ton stones, which make up a number of sites within a small corner of Portugal, are to us clearly Neolithic megaliths. They not only display complex solar alignments with solstices, a Neolithic trademark, but to suggest that said stones were somehow sourced, quarried, transported many miles, and ultimately placed in such precise alignments by humble farmers, 
Stones displaying such a detailed awareness of the solar system and weighing such gigantic weights, we find preposterous. Not only were the weights of these stones far in excess of what the said people were capable of working or lifting, but to suggest so, we feel, is clear evidence of conspiracy, a concerted effort to hide a huge chunk of our own history, and indeed what these ancient people were trying to tell all of us from us all. The question is, why would funders of said institutes want to hide these particular truths? What is the motivation for them to hide such information? Who built the hinges of the Avora megaliths? When did they build them? And perhaps most importantly, what were these ancient people attempting to tell us? Perhaps one day we will find out. They are, undoubtedly, highly compelling.